Hello fellow YouTubers, Knives back again with another video, and this video is for Quick Look Wednesday. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Noctua, Noctua, excuse me, NFB9 Redux 1600 RPM PWM fan. Um, I do believe after checking out a few sources and uh, Noctua's website, this is new for 2015. Um, this is a PWM fan, and as you can see here on the box, it's 92 and that means it's 92 millimeters. Now, why would I need a 92 millimeter fan, especially in a Noctua? Well, we're going to talk about that here in a few minutes. Let's take a quick look on the back and check out some specs. See the spec sheets if it wants to focus. Maybe. Probably not. Okay, I'll just read them off. So, as I said before, this is a Noctua NFB9 Redux 1600 RPM PWM fan. And as I said before, also, it's a 92 millimeter fan, um, 92 millimeters high, 92 millimeters wide, and 25 millimeters deep. And it is using a 4-pin PWM. Uh, that's what the PWM stands for. Uh, it is, as I said again, 1600 RPM. Uh, and it's got a couple of specs here. Probably not going to be able to see because... Why would the camera want to focus when I'd want to do something? There we go. And the voltage down there at the bottom is 12 volts with 0.96 watts of power. Take a quick pan up as it unfocuses again. All right, let's flip it back over. And my dog, he's a little warm today. Kind of get a little hot in here. They're playing some GTA 5. So, it's the first time I'm going to open this. I've seen it. Um... On Amazon, it's got a pretty colorful um, color. Excuse me, it's pretty colorful. So we're gonna open it up. Here we go. Kind of hard to do one-handed. Oh yeah, forget about that. This is looking at it, and of course, I get it at a shot. Okay, here we go. And it's gray. Yes, yes, folks, it is gray. Um, new for 2015. Uh, different colors instead of that brown um, and if you've seen my previous video uh, you'll know I have a black and white build and um, as most of you know uh, Noctua's are known for their brown and white color and it's really nice to see something other than um, brown alright and in the bottom of the box here we have four screws obviously for screwing what else would you need those for, right? All right, let me see if I can't get this out so you guys can take a look at it. I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. As you can see, I've taken the fan out. Uh, 92 millimeter fan, not a lot to talk about for a fan. Um, now, I'm sure most of you are asking me why I got a 92 or, or questioning why I got a 92. Um, millimeter fan and that is if you've seen my previous video I call back to that again um, because on there I liquid cooled my graphics card now I didn't liquid cool it the way normal people liquid cool it I cheated and I went with a Corsair H75 and in that video I show you and I think I talk a little bit about the cooling solution that I have on there now and wanting better cooling performance so um, instead of using the NZXT fan that came with um, the Kraken G10, which is how I'm liquid cooling, it's just a sleeve that uh, screws onto um, the GPU and liquid cools it. Um, I'm replacing it with this fan. Um, Noctua is legendary for its quietness. Uh, people absolutely love it. And it just happened to be in a color that I would actually allow to be on my build. So I went ahead to pick it up just to try it out. Um, now if Noctua made all white fans or black and white fans as such as this fractal design fan, then I would have probably replaced all of the fans in my in my build for for these, but unfortunately they do not yet anyway they may they may at some point so as we're looking through the fan you can see here you got some colored cables 
or colored wiring there uh, on the front. Probably not going to focus. Just has the name, the Noctua website, and Redux. So I guess that's the model. Redux is the model of the fan. PWM, 4-pin. This is a 4-pin connector. Okay, we're going to talk um, about uh, why it was important for me to get a 4-pin here in just a second. But I, I got to say, I, I really like the, the cabling here. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it because, of course, when I want my phone to focus, it's not going to. But it, it's it's got this really nice rubber texture, and it's terminated really well here at the tip, at the at the connector. Um, you can see a little see through. I know it's not going to focus at all for me, but you can see light through there. Um, so it's not completely shielded, but maybe you can see it. It's it's a really nice rubber texture. It's nice. I like it. I enjoy it. it, it it's it's really going to work out well. Um, the cable is long. It's it's longer than I really need it to be um, Because it's going to be actually connected to the graphics card and so It's really nice that it's a four pin um, because it will tell me my rpms and my uh, RPMs and a couple of other things I need now um, Part that I wanted to talk about um if you're going to do a setup like this, and if you're going to liquid cool with the Kraken G10, and, um, you know, you go that route, you're going to need an adapter. And I showed this in my last video. Uh, I just included the picture. But this picture is a PWM fan adapter for G, uh, VGA cooling. Um, and it actually works on both ATI and uh, NVIDIA, which is what my um, card is. So you can see right back here the specs for it I'm not going to talk about it other than it's a four pin and it's PWM so this little tiny end right here there's actually a slot and it's it's mini fan adapter it's it's mini I forget the actual name for it but it's mini something um, and this end is gonna plug onto the graphics card and then this end is going to plug into this end for the fans. So, let's see. It's tough doing this one handed. Maybe one day I'll get an actual camera set up. Um, so, it, it plugs in like that. So, having a long cable isn't really going to benefit me well here because I'm going to have to do some tricky cable management. I'm not looking forward to that, but we're going to make it work. And I'm hoping this pays off because after thinking about it, I think I'd, I'd like to actually replace all of the fans on my uh, liquid coolers, on my radiators, um, with Noctua's. And especially if they're going to be in this nice grayish color. I, I, I really like that. It's got a great color. Um, and you can see the fans are kind of, they've got those notches to help move air through better. Not really liking that too much. They're kind of popping up there, but... I'll take a look at that. Folks, this has been my quick look at the Noxua NF, Noctua NFB9 Redux 1600 RPM PWM fan. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one.